Welcome to the FCPS Pre-K Family Orientation for school year 2020-2021. This year, we are presenting this orientation virtually and are excited to welcome you. Congratulations, you completed all the paperwork and requirements of the Pre-K program and are now part of our Pre-K family. We thank you for partnering with us in your child's education. Pre-K's vision is for every child to be ready to learn, and working together with you will make this possible. We value your trust in us and will work with you to support your child. In the current situation, we will be relying on the use of technology to navigate your child's learning. For this school year, every Pre-K student will be provided with learning tools to support their learning. Don't worry, we will all be learning together. It will be important for you to check your email and text messages daily because our program and your child's teacher will be using this as their main form of communication. Your teacher will let you know if your child will be logging on to Blackboard Collaborate Ultra or Google Classroom for distance learning. Your child will be assigned a student sys ID which remains with them throughout their years with FCPS. This ID allows them to connect to the learning platforms previously mentioned that FCPS will be using for learning. Please check with your teacher for this ID. For more information about logging on to SIS, visit fcps.edu and search SIS account. Remember, you are able to switch the language on FCPS websites by clicking the flags found on the top left of the page. Our program will support your family and child throughout the school year. Some of the ways we will do that is through these four areas of service. The first area is family services. You will have a family services specialist who will be partnering with you throughout this year. You have met this person already during the final enrollment process. They will invite you to your live orientation session and conduct several family meetings during this school year to share valuable information about how you can continue to support your child. Your family services specialist can work with you to help meet your goals and provide resources and information you may request, as well as follow up on concerns related to attendance, transportation, drop off and pickup, family safety, social emotional health, and overall family well being. The second area is education. We have a play based curriculum which supports children's social and emotional development, which will prepare them for kindergarten. Your child's teacher regularly collaborates with a pre-K resource teacher throughout the year to support children's learning. You will be invited to parent-teacher conferences during the school year to learn about your child's progress and development. The third area is health and nutrition. Health and nutrition specialists monitor that every child is up to date throughout the school year on health and dental requirements and supports your family along the way. If your child's physical exam expires or they need updated immunizations, we will ask for updated records. You will receive two educational videos each month from the health and nutrition team on a wide variety of topics to help keep your family safe and healthy. Topics included are oral health, healthy habits, picky eating, eating more fruits and vegetables, healthy recipe ideas, sleep and physical activity. Members of the health and nutrition team are also available to meet virtually with parents one-on-one -on -one if you have any health or nutrition related concerns or goals for your child or family. The fourth area of service is special services. Our program has staff that include specialists in our special services. Our disabilities team supports teachers, children and families in our inclusive setting. Our speech and language team supports the growth and expansion of all children's communication skills. Our mental health team supports teachers, families, and the social, emotional, and behavioral health 
of the students. Our trauma-informed specialist helps to ensure that our work is trauma-informed so our work incorporates an understanding of how children and adults are shaped by the trauma they experience, allows us to meet a child's need for safety and security, and supports collaboration and self-care. We all collaborate with each other to meet your child's needs. Our curriculum is broken down into four themes for the four quarters your child will be in school. During the first quarter, children explore who they are as individuals by learning more about how their bodies work, emotions, and interests. In the second quarter, we will participate in activities that explore who they are in their family. During the third quarter, we begin to investigate who they are in their community. And finally, in the fourth quarter, we will look at who they are in the world. The fall months keep us busy with the learning of rules and routines and exploring seasonal changes and the five senses. Routines at home for virtual learning and for the days your children are not attending in-person learning will help your child continue to learn. Each quarter, your child's teaching team will share a list of essential standards with you. These standards will show what the main curriculum goals will be for your child in the four learning areas of language arts, math, science, and social studies. These standards were intentionally chosen to represent the critical foundational learning knowledge and skills to be taught in this virtual learning environment. The standards will guide teachers and families with developing children's identities as readers, writers, problem solvers, scientists, and citizens. During the day, your child will be following a similar schedule as shown on the screen. This schedule will be followed Tuesday through Friday since Mondays are designated for teacher planning. Our program helps children adapt to their learning day by establishing daily routines. We use visual prompts to help children follow these daily routines. This helps children know what they are expected to do throughout the day. Your teacher will provide you with more details about your school's hours before the start of school. We want to encourage you to work with your child in developing home learning routines to help your child maintain a beneficial learning environment at home. Consider having them cut or draw pictures of things they want to do during the day. Making this a fun activity will make the routine more enjoyable for the child and help them understand their schedules at home. Your home routine may include having mini schedules that will help your child get ready for the day. This year, all pre-K students will have access to the Waterford Early Learning Program. This program is a supplemental online learning program that will support children in growing foundational skills in reading, math, and science. Each student will be issued their own account. Waterford will be used on children's school-issued laptops. More information will be provided to you by your child's teacher. The teacher will have activities for your child to complete at home. We want to encourage you to have a specific area for their school day because having this specific area means fewer distractions and will allow for better focus. Don't forget to charge your child's learning device each day. Even in virtual learning, your child will be learning to follow directions, take turns, make new friends, and play. Play is children's work. It is through play that children make sense of the world around them. At this age, children continue to develop social and cognitive skills, develop emotionally, and gain the self-confidence required to engage in new experiences and environments. Studies show that children should have a minimum of 60 minutes of play supported by an adult to guide their learning daily. We encourage you to get your child moving for at least 60 minutes a day. If choosing to go outside or visit a park to support their gross motor development, please follow the CDC guidelines of mask wearing, maintaining social distance, and washing of hands. 
Attendance is very important in our pre-K program because learning happens every day. We are a high quality pre-kindergarten program and we follow the FCPS guidelines when it comes to attendance, participation, and absences. The pre-K program will be tracking your child's attendance through their participation and logins during online learning. We understand children get sick and may not be able to participate virtually some days in order to recover and return to learning. If you have concerns about your child's health, contact your family services specialist. More guidance surrounding attendance will be shared by your family services specialist and teacher. The state of Virginia and FCPS requires a current physical exam completed after September 2019, TB screening, and up-to-date immunization record for every child before the start of school. Your child cannot attend school virtually or in person if we do not have these records on file. Your family will be informed if you still need to turn in any health records for your child to start school in September. If you need help finding a doctor or making an appointment, let your family services specialist know and they can work with the health team to support you. The pre-K program requires your child to see the dentist for an exam every six months. We will provide you with the form you need to have the dentist fill out and return to the program after your child's visit. You will receive reminders for your child to get a dental exam if we don't have a current one on file. If your child requires ongoing treatments for cavities or any other oral health issues, we will also ask for documentation and can help connect you with the dental providers in your area. It is important for your child's health to brush their teeth two times a day for two minutes each time. Pre-K students always brush their teeth when they are in school. It's important they do so while at home as well. The health and nutrition team will be sharing videos with you over the next couple of months with more information on why it's important for your child to brush their teeth regularly and how to safely visit the dentist during this time. When in the classroom, the pre-K program provides each child with breakfast, lunch, and snack each day, and children participate in family-style dining. This is when the teaching team and children eat in the classroom and sit together to share the meal. With adult help, children are able to serve their food and pass the bowl. While virtually, the pre-K program wants to encourage you to participate in family-style dining at home. Family-style dining is a great time to have conversations about how the day went for everyone and for children to share about things they are learning. On the screen, we are sharing the child supervision guidelines for Fairfax County. You can visit fairfaxcounty.gov and search child supervision to see the guidelines for each child's age group. Please have a responsible adult 18 years or older to assist your child with getting their meals and logging into virtual learning. Remember, no child under the age of eight should ever be left unsupervised in the home. The guidelines also include information about age limits for babysitters and how long a child can stay with a babysitter that is between the ages of 10 and 16. Please consider the safety measures you need to put in place for your family. Distance learning has opened up the virtual world to many of us. We now must shift our attention to not just physical safety, but also virtual internet safety. It is important that the use of electronics and screen time is monitored by a trusted adult to make sure children are not accessing inappropriate sites. Limit the use of technology for your pre-K child. Keeping your child safe is everyone's job. As a member of your community, you can help by keeping your eyes on children who may be experiencing abuse or neglect. If you have concerns about a child's safety, please call the CPS hotline at 703 324-7400. They're open 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and you can make a report or discuss your concern. We want to work together with you to make sure your child is ready to learn at home safely every day. There are two important ways you can remain involved with the FCPS pre-K program. Our virtual family center meeting is one way. They will be held several times throughout the school year. Your participation is highly encouraged. 
These meetings allow us to bring parents, guardians, and caretakers together to talk and learn from one another. We know you are interested in your child's education, and we want to keep you informed about what children are learning about in school and hear your concerns and feedback. We will share information about parenting and community resources, and you can remain involved in your child's education and development. See our Wordle on the screen for parents' thoughts about last year's meeting. Your first Family Center meeting will be with us at your virtual orientation. That date will be shared with you by your Family Services Specialist via email and text message. Make sure to continue checking your messages daily. The second way is through our Parent Policy Committee, or PPC. Through the Parent Policy Committee, Pre-K provides a unique opportunity for parents to grow as leaders. At the PPC level, you represent your regional center and meet and network virtually with other Pre-K and Early Head Start parents, Pre-K staff, and community partners. You help make decisions about the program's budget, the curriculum and educational activities, approve grant applications, get classroom updates, contribute to the program's newsletter, and receive information on services available in your community to bring back and share at your school. We will be asking two parents to represent your center and attend the first Parent Policy Committee meeting. If you would be interested in this leadership opportunity, please nominate yourself as a center representative during the live virtual family orientation. This is a great way to give back to the pre-K program. The two representatives that volunteer from your school will be invited to the kickoff meeting scheduled for Tuesday, October 20th from 5.30 p.m. to 8 p.m. Future policy committee meetings will take place virtually on Tuesday evenings every other month. Meeting dates for the entire year will be shared at a later date. In addition to giving back to the program, you may be able to expand your leadership skills, have opportunities to network with other parent leaders and program managers, apply for the Head Start sponsored scholarships, and use the experience as a resume builder. Your involvement is so important because you will be helping make decisions about this program that will positively impact your family and other families. This is a chance for your voice to be heard and a great place for you to advocate for your child and other pre-K families. The first day of pre-K will be Tuesday, September 8th, 2020. We are very excited to have your child and family as part of our pre-K program and look forward to working with you this school year. Although our start will be virtual for all children, our goal is to gradually return to school for in-person learning. FCPS continues to work on developing a plan to ensure that your children will be safe during the COVID-19 pandemic. Please remember to have your child wash their hands often, avoid close contact, cover their mouths and nose with a mask when around others, and cover coughs and sneezes. Parents should clean and disinfect surfaces and monitor your health daily. Your Family Services Specialist is available to assist you with questions about the Pre-K program and to connect you with community resources. Please reach out to her for any need you may have. FCPS offers telephone support to parents who do not speak English as their first language. If you have any questions about your older children, please reach out to your child's school or access the telephone support by calling one of the numbers on the screen. Fairfax County also has a coordinated services planning line to help connect residents with county and community-based services and resources. Like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Thank you for watching this video and attending your family orientation. Your attendance today is the first step in becoming involved in your child's education. We look forward to working together this school year. Please reach out to your family services specialist for any questions. Your child's teacher will be reaching out to you to schedule the virtual family visit. You will be invited to join us on the live session to this virtual family orientation where we will be available to provide updates we may have and answer questions you may have. Please check your email in the next three days for the link to the live session.